The President, Le President. please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. Reprise de l'audience. The court is now back in session. Counsel Coupe. Maître How many Coppe, more questions would you wish to put to this witness, please? Encore à poser? Maître Coppe. Um, a few. Uh, quelques well, unes. More than a few. Plus que quelques unes. I don't know how much time do I have, Mr. President. Je ne President? sais pas de combien de temps je dispose, Monsieur le Président. The Kyosampan team needs 20 minutes, maximum 30 minutes. De Kyosampan a besoin de 20 minutes ou de 30 minutes au maximum. The President, the President. Council Coppe, you may proceed. Maître Coppe, allez-y. Thank you, Mr. President. Maître Coppe, merci, Monsieur le Président. Uh, Mr. Witness, uh, Monsieur le Témoin, was your battalion or the other battalions, uh, were they also ou les autres involved bataillons in the internal security of the country or only busy with defending the country against the enemy? également aux questions de sécurité interne du pays ou bien est-ce qu'ils ne s'occupaient que de la défense du pays contre l'ennemi? Response. In my battalion, we were engaged in defending the country, not in internal security. Were you aware of the existence of security centers in the area where you were stationed? À l'endroit où vous étiez stationné. Response. No, I wasn't. No. I was busy defending the country by the field to know about this. Le pays sur le champ de bataille et donc je ne le savais pas. At the time of the meeting in June 1978, did you have knowledge? Of a security center called S21. Étiez-vous au courant de l'existence d'un centre de sécurité appelé S21? Response. Réponse. I never heard of this security office. Je n'ai jamais entendu parler de ce centre de sécurité S21. When you saw. And met Pol Pot in June 1978. Did you know what his position within the CPK was? What his function, what his titles, titles were? Son titre, son rang au sein du PCK. Response. Réponse. I met him in 1978. En 1978, on a dit qu'il était secrétaire du PCK. Saviez-vous qui étaient les membres du comité central ou du comité permanent du PCK Réponse. No, I didn't. No.
I did not meet or know these uh, Je n'ai pas rencontré elder brothers ces autres at the top. aînés d'en haut. Je ne les connaissais pas. Did you in June 1978 know the difference between the Central Committee and the Standing la différence Committee? entre le comité central et le comité permanent? Response. No, I didn't. Réponse. Non. Would you be able Question. to tell the chamber why you didn't know that at that time? Vous n'en aviez pas connaissance à l'époque. Response. Réponse. I didn't know about this because as a soldier, we were never instructed or informed que nous, les soldats, of this. No dissemination of information relating to this has ever been made to us. n'était diffusée à ce sujet. Question. Did you, around that time, June 78, Vers cette époque, en juin 78, what the objectives of the CPK were, what the policy of the CPK was? Les politiques du PCK. Response. I only knew two main points je uh, that savais uh, we were deux choses importantes. Je savais que nous avions l'obligation de défendre le pays et de reconstruire le pays. Did you Question. know in June 1978 No. Response. No, I didn't. No. I never met him. Je ne l'ai jamais rencontré time. à cette époque. Did you meet him after June 78? Did you ever see him after June 78? Ou vu après juin 78? The President, uh, Mr. Witness, uh, please uh, wait. Uh, le témoin, you may now proceed. Allez-y à présent. Response. Réponse. After 1978, après 78, and I was fully engaged in fighting the Vietnamese. I had par les lost combats contre uh, les Vietnamiens. any connection with j'ai perdu uh, tout uh, contact people, avec ces gens dont no, I had Nguyen Chien. Donc, non, je ne l'ai pas rencontré depuis. Does the name Question. Von Vett ring a bell with you? Le nom de Von Vett vous dit-il quelque chose Response. Réponse. No, it doesn't. Non. I never heard of him. Je n'ai jamais entendu ce nom. Does the name Question. Sao Pim ring a bell? Qu'en est-il du nom de Sao Pim? Vous dit-il quelque chose? Go, Sao Pim will kill me. Response. Réponse. No, it doesn't. Nonetheless, I have heard of him. I have heard of a person by the name Sao Pim, though Sao I Pim. never met her. Him in Mais je ne l'ai jamais rencontré en personne. Mr. Witness, you were Monsieur early this morning asked ce about matin, the speech that Pol Pot gave in June 78 during the meeting in Kampong Chang. Lors de la réunion à Kampong Chang. You have testified that he spoke about Vous avez dit, um, foreign aggressors avez parlé des agresseurs and about rebuilding the country. Et de la reconstruction Do you remember pays? in more detail the things that Pol Pot de façon plus said about the foreign aggressors. De Pol Pot au sujet des agresseurs étrangers. Response. Réponse. In 1978, en 1978, people gathered in the meeting. And la réunion the était people convoquée. from different ranks, Il y avait là lower ranks des gens and de higher ranks, and we were lectured on 
how to be cautious uh, regarding the spies, KGB agents and CIA agents. We were asked to be vigilant and that we had to make sure that these people could not infiltrate in our system, otherwise they would pose great risk uh, to the country. De grand danger pour le pays. Do you remember Question. what Pol Pot said during that meeting about vous vous Vietnam? Vous de ce qu'a dit Pol Pot au sujet du Vietnam à cette réunion. Response. I met him Réponse. very briefly Je before I left uh, for the border area. De With that, uh, I did not uh, be there long enough to Je hear pas resté assez him talk much about this. Parler beaucoup de cela. What was in June 1978 your own experience with uh, Vietnamese aggression? Experience par rapport à une agression vietnamienne. Response. We understood the term ag aggression to be Pour bad nous, term and that aggressors were negatif. bad people and we didn't like them. Des gens que nous pas. Well, when Question. Paul Pot spoke about Quand foreign Paul aggressors, a parlé did that correspond étrangers? with your own experience que cela in respect of actions of Vietnam? À votre propre avec votre propre expérience par rapport euh, au Vietnam Response. Réponse. I was engaged in the hostility in Je the border area and I witnessed uh, the encroachment uh, by the Vietnamese troops into Cambodia de territory. Des troupes vietnamiennes en territoire cambodgien. Uh, did Pol Pot Question. say during the meeting Au cours de la réunion, about Pol Pot, whose initiative those in incursions were? Who was the aggressor? What happened? Did he say things like that? Les instigateurs de cette agression. En a-t-il parlé? No, he didn't. Réponse. Non. He just said that. Uh, People, juste dit uh, our neighbors in the east uh, were invading us, de nous and we had to make sure that they could be driven back. Les the other subject is during uh, this meeting, this public meeting uh, with Pol Pot in June 78, Pot, was about rebuilding the country. Did he also speak at that time? Um, about the food situation, a parlé de la situation uh, in alimentaire au Cambodge? Response. Réponse. The meeting was convened uh, rather briefly. La réunion n'a pas duré très longtemps. And during the meeting, he talked about foods. Il a parlé and he asked de a question. Il a posé une question. Uh, regarding cooperatives, he asked whether people had enough food si in each cooperative and if there was food shortage, il a dit que what avait would be the solution pénurie, to this? Il fallait envisager des solutions. And people responded by saying Les that uh, there were decent uh, food il in their respective cooperatives. Respective. That's what I heard. And if the voilà food was uh, short, uh, il avait then pas assez they would have their own means of dealing with this. Il fallait faire face à ce Was Pol Pot concerned Question. with the food production and the food situation La in Kampuchea at that time? Alimentaire au Kampuchea à l'époque et la production alimentaire préoccupait Pol Pot. I don't no, whether he was concerned Je ne sais pas s'il était inquiet about this or not because I met him on a very 
short period of Je time. Je ne l'ai rencontré que très brièvement. You have testified that during that meeting, Paul Pot spoke about réunion, foreign aggressors Paul Pot avait referring to Vietnam. Étrangers en faisant allusion au Vietnam. Did he also speak about enemies within Campuchia? Des ennemis and if yes, de l'intérieur uh, what should be done with enemies Qu'a-t-il dit qu'il fallait faire de ses ennemis? Response. Réponse. Internal enemies were raised in the meeting. La question des ennemis We de l'intérieur était soulevée à la réunion. Told that after the regime was uh, the country was liberated uh, people were liberated but their mentality was not yet free or in other words liberated did Pol Pot Question. ever speak to you Pol or the others about purging specific de la nécessité d'opérer des purges contre certaines personnes au Cambodge. Response. Réponse. I think that there were people who were specialized in these areas. For me, I was uh, engaged in defending the country as a soldier. And I would not know much about et je n'étais guère informé de ce genre de choses. So is it fair to say that you do not have any knowledge in June 1978 about purging cadres in, for instance, Eastern Zone? Concernant la purge de cadres de la zone Est, par exemple. Response. It is correct to say Réponse. that. Effectivement. When you had the meeting with Question. Pol Pot, Lors de la after the, avec Pol the bigger Pot, gathering, après would le you be more specific as to the words he uttered when speaking to you? Il a prononcé lors de son entretien avec vous. Response. Réponse. In a meeting with me in Kampong Chnang, the meeting was very brief, and he said that I had to gather forces to be transferred to the border area qui devrait gagner to fight the la zone Vietnamese. frontalière pour and, lutter contre uh, les Vietnamiens. I didn't have much time to talk Je uh, pas eu to him de temps pour lui and I then parler. moved uh, to the Après border cela, area with gagné uh, la zone the frontalière avec mes troupes. And uh, we had lost uh, connection for the following years. Et le contact avec lui s'est perdu. Did he ever say during that meeting that question. you or your troops Au cours de cette rencontre, had to engage with cadres et vos troupes from the East Zone or was it only directed toward the Vietnamese troops? Combattre les troupes de la zone Est ou uniquement combattre Response. les troupes vietnamiennes? No, he didn't Réponse. say anything specific. Il n'a rien dit de précis à ce sujet. Than what I told you. Il a juste dit ce que je vous ai expliqué. Monsieur le Président, je pense en avoir terminé. Merci. Le président. The president.
Thank you, counsel. Merci, Next, uh, we would like uh, présent, to hand over to the prosecution to put some questions to the witness. You may proceed. Je vous en prie. Thank you, Mr. President. Le coprocureur. Merci, Monsieur Morning, le Président. Uh, Mr. Witness. Bonjour, Monsieur le témoin. Uh, my name is Dale Je m'appelle Dale Lysak. I will have a few questions J'ai quelques for questions you, uh, à vous poser the, uh, au nom des coprocureurs. Um, I want to turn first, Tout d'abord, uh, to ask you a few j'ai des questions à vous poser uh, regarding the, uh, 1970, uh, me, sur la période antérieure au mois d'avril 1975. Ce matin, vous avez dit que durant cette période, vous aviez participé à des combats contre les forces de l'Onol, mais vous avez dit que vous ne saviez plus exactement où ces combats avaient eu lieu. You are the, uh, a second witness who has testified le deuxième témoin here from division one, um, de la division 1 a person à venir déposer named Mia Vun, un certain Mia whose Vun, was Sfai alias Vun, Sfai Vun, uh, has testified here. Est venu he déposer. indicated that he was a uh, il a dit avoir été commandant de bataillon au sein de la division 1, après quoi il est devenu commandant de régiment dans la division 1 avant le mois d'avril 1975. Il a dit qu'en 1976, Mia Vun était devenu commandant adjoint de la division 1 sous les ordres de Ta Son. Voici ma première question. Mia Vun. Connaissiez-vous Mia Vaughan? Response. Réponse. No, I didn't. Non. Perhaps uh, he was uh, under the same division, Peut-être but in qu'il different faisait partie de la même division, battalion. mais d'un autre bataillon. My uh, national colleague has advised me I may not have pronounced his Mon name correctly. Mon confrère me dit que je n'ai uh, pas bien prononcé Vun? ce nom. C'est Vun. Vun? Yes. Uh, Vun. Oui. Did you know a person Connaissez-vous named Vun, un dénommé Vun who, uh, as of 1976, was the deputy commander of Division One under Tassoun? Division I sous les ordres de Tassoun. Response. No, I, I still don't uh, know no. uh, this uh, person. They could have been in other division. You indicated that you uh, could not recall the uh, areas in which a Division One had engaged in combat. Um, let me avec combattu, see if I can refresh your memory, je vais de vous and I'd mémoire. like to read to you je vais vous um, what Mia's, Mia Fun told this court on the 3rd of October, 2012. 2012 uh, this is from document E1 slash 129.1. And uh, this is a testimony that was on pages 110 to 111 uh, of the uh, English transcript. The time, anglaise. approximate time of the uh, questions and answer is between uh, 15, les minutes, 51, c'est 47, 15, 47 and 15, 55, 15, 55 uh, 00. 00. Uh, let me just read this, this testimony from Je vais lire uh, Mia Vaughan to see if that refreshes your recollection. Si cela vous Quote, la Je cite, During the fighting along National Road 5, combats, le long de la route at 5, that time there were southwest soldiers to the east of Krakor up to Campon Chenang and Udon. 
jusqu'à We were under the overall charge of Tamok, sous la supervision générale de Tamok, Ta -Sung. puis de Ta -Sung. Sung. So we fought along the Nous road avons combattu le long de la route jusqu'à Udong. But at that time, sometimes we won, parfois sometimes nous gagnions, we lost. Parfois nous perdions. And by the time we reached Udong, there were many casualties from the bombardment as well as from the shelling by the artillery. By the time we reached Udong, I cannot recall the exact date, but it was 1973 or 1974. We kept fighting consistently along National Road 5. We fought during the rainy season, and when the dry season commenced, we started fighting again. Does this refresh your memory of the areas where you participated in combat? Do you recall participating in fighting along National Road number 5? Response, yes, Réponse. it does, and uh, oui. yes, I do recall briefly. Je m'en souviens en gros. Can you tell us, did you participate Question. in the battle for Udong? Participé à la bataille pour la prise d'Udong? Response. I did not engage in combat uh, in the Udong vicinity, but I did uh, in the vicinity contre, of Sala number five. De Sala numéro cinq. Uh, do you um, have any recollection? of what happened to the civilian population of Udong uh, after it was captured uh, by the revolutionary forces. Response. I'm afraid I don't Réponse. know about this. Je n'en sais rien. I will uh, uh, now uh, ask you some questions uh, regarding uh, the events around leading up to the 17th of April 1975 uh, and the events of that day and the days after. Um, you told um, Mr. Nunchea's council this morning that, that uh, during the evacuation of Phnom Penh, you were located at the intersection of National Roads 3 and 4. And I just want to clarify, when you refer to the intersections of National Roads 3 and 4, are you referring to the uh, uh, circle intersection that is um, not too far from this court qui pas between très loin here de ce and the Pochentong Airport. Et qui se trouve entre le tribunal et l'aéroport de Pochentong. Response. Yes, it is correct. Réponse. Because at that time, other units had to uh, move forward into the city when my unit uh, had to remain in this area. And we also saw people who had been evacuated from the city. So uh, in his uh, testimony here, uh, Mia Vun, um, described Dans or indicated that at least his regiment from Division 1 uh, attacked Phnom Penh from uh, the west of the city sur Phnom Penh uh, through de la ville, either Ponchatong or Stung Menche. Uh, uh, can you tell us, um, in terms of the days leading up to 
17 April 1975. From what direction uh, was your battalion or your company uh, attacking Phnom Penh? D'où votre compagnie ou votre unité attaquait-elle Phnom Penh? Response. Réponse. My battalion attack from Mon bataillon the a attaqué par Ra Samraon, Samraon railway station. la station de train de Samraon. Can you give us a uh, for those of us who don't know that location, can you tell us uh, where that is uh, located in relation to Phnom Penh uh, or in relation to Pochettong Airport? Response. It was a railway station north of Pochettong. C'était une gare de train au nord de Pochettong. It was south of Tool Lip. Au sud de Tool Lip. And can you tell us, do Question. you recall uh, when it was that uh, your battalion received its orders as to Votre a where it was ordres. to attack from uh, in the final a push towards vous Phnom Penh. D'où vous deviez attaquer pour l'offensive finale sur Phnom Penh. Response. At that time, I was in a company. I was not in the. Réponse. I was not the commander of the battalion. À l'époque, je n'étais pas le commandant du bataillon. So, I did not know where. Or from which direction Je ne I should pas attack Phnom Penh. Nous I just Phnom Penh. stay over there. Tout simplement là. Do I understand Question. then correctly that you do not remember at any time your company donc? receiving orders vous vous pas regarding either the attack on Phnom Penh or the evacuation de de Phnom Penh of the city? À Is that correct? De C'est bien cela. Réponse. Response. My unit did not participate in, did not participate in the evacuation of people from Phnom Penh. Phnom Penh. I understand that your unit didn't participate. My question is, did your unit at any time receive any orders regarding either the attack uh, on Phnom Penh uh, or Phnom the evacuation. Penh, did you receive any orders as to what your unit was to do when you reached Phnom Penh? Sur ce que vous deviez faire quand votre unité à Phnom Penh? Response. Réponse. We received the order to attack to liberate Phnom Penh. Of course, we received such an order, but we did not receive the order to evacuate the people from Phnom Penh. Nous n'avons reçu l'ordre d'évacuer la population de la ville. Mais nous n'avons pas reçu d'ordre d'évacuer la population de la ville. And uh, just to be sure we're clear, um, question: Am I correct that your company? remained at the intersection clair, of National savoir. Roads 3 and 4, Votre uh, but other units continued on into the city, and it was those ville. units that Et conducted the evacuation. Qui ont mené Do I understand your testimony? Is, is that correct? Est -ce que bien compris? Response. Réponse. Other units went into Phnom Penh. My unit was Phnom Penh. over there. La mienne was at the intersection. Là, and I do not know about the evacuation of the people. Je ne sais rien de de la ville. How many days uh, was your unit uh, stationed at the intersection of Pendant National Roads 3 and 4? 
votre unité a elle été postée à cette intersection Réponse. Je réponse. I stay over there for around three or four days. Je suis resté trois ou quatre jours. And can you describe Question. for us in a little more detail uh, what you observed vous from there in terms of the people leaving the city? Notamment les gens qui quittaient la ville. Response. Réponse. People and military officers seem to be happy. We were happy. We laughed gens, together. There seemed to be no heureux. problem Tout le monde riait. at that time. Il ne semblait pas y avoir de problème. Let me ask you this: question. What was your unit assigned to do during this uh, three or four-day period uh, while you were at the National Road three and four intersection? Response. Response. During that period, pendant cette période, my unit just stopped over there, and my unit just stay over there after Lubin was liberated. Et tout simplement, we just stay over there at the intersection. Nous y sommes demeurés pendant que la ville était libérée. So my Nous unit arrived at that location, Mon and then we stayed over there, cet and that's all. Et elle y est tout. Who, uh, who was it that was providing you orders uh, during the period your unit uh, was at the National Road 3 and 4 intersection? Quand vous étiez à l'intersection. C'était le commandant de bataillon qui a donné les ordres. And can you tell us uh, for what period of time did you see people leaving the city while you were at that location. Pendant combien de temps avez-vous vu des gens quitter la ville alors que vous étiez là? Response. Réponse. I did not know about that. Je n'en savais rien. I just only saw people leaving the city. I did not know where they went. Ville. Je ne sais pas, je ne savais pas où they ils allaient. They left the city since the day Phnom Penh Ils ont commencé à quitter collapsed. la ville dès la chute de Phnom Penh. Did you receive any instructions from your battalion commander to assist the people who were leaving the city, to help them with transportation, help them with food or water? Did you receive any instructions from your battalion commander to help the people who were leaving the city? Vous a-t-on dit d'aider les gens qui quittaient la ville? Réponse. No, I no. did not. Mm, question. Can you tell us um, where it was uh, that your company uh, went after the three or four days uh, you spent uh, at the intersection of National Road 3 and 4? Response. Réponse. After that, we went to construct National Road Number Three. We transported rock from Kiso Mountain to construct la route to, 3, repair, nous avons... to repair the road. Récupérer des so roches à Chisor pour réparer la route 3. How long did Question. your unit spend uh, working on the construction of National Road 3? Combien de temps votre unité a-t-elle travaillé à la construction de la route nationale numéro 3? 
Response. Réponse. I did not remember. Je ne peux pas. I do not remember about pas. that because it happened long time ago. Cela fait très longtemps. Why don't you then tell us uh, what your unit did after uh, completing your tasks uh, working on the construction of National Road 3? Son travail de construction sur la route 3. Response. Réponse. After we finish, after we repair the road, Après avoir, uh, we did farming. Nous, nous sommes, nous avons commencé les travaux d'agriculture. Okay. Can you tell us uh, where you were located Question when you were doing this farming? Quand vous faisiez de l'agriculture? Réponse. At the time, there was no cattle. Il n'y avait pas de bétail. Il n'y avait pas. At all. We did by using our hands, by using our own labor. Nous l'avons fait par avec nos mains. And then we transplanted rice. Nous avons repiqué du riz. C'était proche de Pochentang. And how long were you, Question. was your unit located uh, near Pochentong, uh, doing farming? How long after 17 April 1975? Response? Réponse. I cannot remember. Je ne m'en souviens pas. Can you tell us what the next Location was where you were assigned after doing farming near Pochetong. Après que vous ayez fait des travaux d'agriculture près de Pochetong. Response. Réponse. Later, we were stationed at Bati Lumbeng. Nous avons été postés à Bati Lumbeng. Was uh, Longvec the uh, location of the Division One headquarters or the main Division One base? Il y avait la base principale, les quartiers généraux de la Division One. Longvec. Réponse. Respond. Yes, it was the headquarter of oui. Division One. Longvec était le quartier général de la Division One. Do you remember what was uh, that you were? Assigned uh, to the Division One headquarters at Longbec. Response. La question était inaudible pour l'interprète. Il y a une coupure de micro. Please repeat your question. Réponse. Vous yes, my, my question. Do you remember what year? Question. Uh, you were assigned to uh, the Division One headquarters located at Longbec. Response. Réponse. My regiment was under the division one. Mon régiment était sous les My ordres de la division was under that division. My company was over there. Faisait partie de cette structure et donc elle était là. And Longvec was the headquarters of the division. Était le quartier général de la division. What did your company do uh, when it was at Longvec and how long were you there? Et qu'a fait votre compagnie à Longvec et pendant combien de temps y êtes-vous resté? Response. Réponse. At Longvec, we did farming. À Longvec, nous avons fait des travaux d'agriculture. We stay over there until nous y we restés. had a mission to go to Swairien. We were sent nous to Swairien. Response. Réponse. Question. 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 
do I understand correctly then that you non, were uh, primarily based at Longbeck all the way up until uh, the time in June 1978 where you were assigned to go to Spy, Spy Ring? Is that right? Response. Yes, exactly. it is correct. Okay, before we uh, break uh, for lunch, I want to turn to some questions about um, the structure of the military. And I want to start by uh, just trying to clarify uh, some, uh, your testimony from this morning uh, regarding your uh, exact position in Division One, Mr. President, if I can provide uh, a copy to the witness of his uh, uh, OCIJ interview, document D369-6, with your leave. The, the president, president will see the court of his, uh, his audience and remit the document, document to Mr. Vienes. Mr. Vienes. Um, Mr. Witness, uh, uh, Mr. Nunche's counsel referred you to uh, one of the, the answers where you talked about your position in Division One. Uh, I want to take you through uh, a number of the statements you made uh, in your OCIJ interview uh, regarding that. First, uh, in answer number three of your of this interview, you made the following statement. Quote, and you were talking here about uh, the mid-1978 period where you attended this meeting. Quote, at that time, I was in Prénub, Campon Somme, as the commander of Regiment 15 of Division 1 of the West Zone. If you could then also look at Answer uh, number nine. This is also a statement you provided regarding that June 1978 meeting, where you stated, quote, I would like to clarify that when I was called for the meeting with Pol Pot in Prong Campon Cham in June 1978, a list of participants was prepared, and as a member of Division One and the commander of Regiment 15, Pol Pot must have known about me and my position. And then, uh, three answers later, answer number 12, you gave the following statement, quote, in early 1976, when Au début Division de 502 was established and la division Summit became its commander, so Summit a été devenu, Ta Sung became the division. commander of Division 1, Ta, 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 Ta Seri uh, became, de became de the deputy division commander, Ta Sari and I était le became the commander of Regiment 15. Commandant du Regiment numéro 15. Now, you told us this morning that you were promoted to battalion commander vous avez dit que vous avez approximately four or five months after liberation. La liberation. And you indicated that sometime after that, you were promoted to regiment commander. So I wanted to uh, give you an opportunity to clarify uh, exactly when it was that you received the promotion from battalion commander to commander of regiment 15. A commandant du regiment numéro 15. Response.
regarding the promotion? Réponse. À propos de cette promotion. After I got promoted for a while and then I was sent to the border area. J'ai été promu un certain temps après et ensuite j'ai été envoyé à la frontière. Are you saying that Question. your promotion to regiment commander was shortly before the time that you were sent to Sveirin? Is that right? Votre mutation à Sveirin? Response. Réponse. Yes, it was a short time before oui. I was sent there. I was promoted. C'était peu avant cela. And where were you based at the time you were promoted Question. to regiment oui, commander? Where were you located at that time? Promu. Où étiez-vous quand vous avez été promu au rang de commandant de régiment? Response. Réponse. My unit was stationed along National Road Mon number unité four. était postée le long de la route numéro 4. Along National Road number 4. Près de Sray Ambal. It was Sray Ambal district. C'était le district de Sray Ambal. In Prenop. À Prenop. Let me come back to that in a second. Was there a period uh, when Division One was transferred from the southwest zone la to the west zone? Était transféré à un moment donné de la zone sud-ouest à la zone ouest. Response. Yes. Réponse. It is correct. Oui. Do you recall approximately? what year it was uh, when Division 1 was transferred to the année? West Zone. La Division 1 a été transférée à la Zone West. Response. Réponse. I cannot catch the... I do not know about that and I do not know, remember the G as well. Je ne me souviens pas de l'année. When Division 1 was reassigned from the southwest zone to the west zone, uh, did your unit or battalion uh, move or relocate? Votre bataillon a-t-il été relocalisé? Response. Réponse. My unit was stationed along National Road number 4. Mon unité était postée le long de la route 4. From Prénop to Trintrigien. De Prénop à Trintrigien. We were stationed and we were in the forest Nous along that national road. Nous étions dans la forêt le long de la route nationale. The reason I'm trying to clarify this is uh, you talked about um, being uh, assigned to Longbeck, que vous dites where avoir the Division été 1 Longbeck, headquarters oui, were. Uh, am, am I correct that Longbeck is in Kampong Chenang province? Mais ai-je raison? Uh, Longbeck est dans la province de Kampong Chenang, n'est-ce pas? Man. Réponse. Respond, yes, oui. it is. And then it appears Question. there was a time period where uh, your battalion was moved, relocated from Longbeck to uh, Sray Ambel district uh, in, de on National Road 4 in Prey Nub. Can you ten, tell us when it was uh, that your unit moved Quand from Longbeck uh, down to Sray Ambel? De Longbeck à Sray Ambel. Response. Réponse. 
I have forgotten. I do not remember that because it happened long time ago. Je ne m'en souviens pas. Ça remonte à il y a très longtemps. The uh, Sray Ambel location uh, was this in the West Zone, and if so, uh, what sector Ambel of the West en... Zone were you located in? Était-ce dans la zone ouest? Dans quel secteur? Le cas échéant. Response. Triangle. Réponse. Was in the west zone. C'était dans la zone ouest. It was north of National Road Number Four. C'est au nord de la route nationale 4. I do not remember the exact location. Mais je ne me souviens pas précisément de l'endroit. Uh, do you recall whether this was part of what was sector 37 of the West Zone? Sector 37 of the Zone West. Respond. Réponse. Yes. Oui. It was under sector 37. Oui, sector 37. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I was going to turn to a, another line Merci. of questioning now. If you uh, wish to continue, I'll pass to another series of questions. The moment is perhaps important to take the floor. The President, thank you. Merci. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Thank you, Mr. Co-Prosecutor. Merci. So right now, it's time for adjournment. In fact, the moment is come to have a dinner. The court will resume at 1:30 this afternoon. Court officer is instructed to bring the witness to the waiting room during the adjournment and bring him back to the courtroom at 1:30 this afternoon. Security personnel are instructed to bring Mr. Kusumpon to the holding cell and bring him back to the courtroom. Before 1.30, the court is adjourned.